Hello guys, it's teacher Yolanda here and welcome to our session 17. In our session 17 we're going to check vocabulary. It's been a long time since we last checked vocabulary and well, now that we are four, we may have some time to check it using some flashcards. For this session, uh, the only thing that you're going to need is your story fun vocabulary list and we are going to check the vocabulary of the story called The King's Colors. It's the story number four. And we're also going to need our PDF file, of course, and our English notebook. Please go and get your materials. We're going to start with, again, the story number four. The title of the story is the king's colors. If you pay attention, the vocabulary is at the end of the book, the story fun, at page 78. Okay? We're going to check the vocabulary of whole story 4. And I'm going to go in the same order as the list. Okay? So, let's begin. This word is air. Again, repeat, air. Can you see? The air is blowing air. Repeat, arm, arm. As you can see, the R is silent. We don't mention it. It's arm. This is a full arm. Beans. Beans, beetle, beetle. This is one type of beetle. All beetles are insects. Bird, again, bird. I repeat, bird. Body, this word is a little bit particular because it has two different pronunciations. The American one would be body. Again, American it's body, like everybody. Yes, body. But for British English it's body. Body. Breath. 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 Remember to repeat the pronunciation, okay? Butterfly. Butterfly. Again, butterfly. Camel. Camel. Colors. Colors. We have two spellings. This one is the British one and this one is the American one. Both are correct. Colors. Desert. Desert. Eagle. Eagle. Flower. Flower. Frog, frog, fruit, fruit. In this case, we could also say that it is plural, right? Because there are many, so maybe they could be fruits, fruits, heart. Listen carefully. Repeat. Heart. Again, it's a little bit complicated. Heart. We then mention the E and we then mention the R. Yes, they are silent. So it is heart. Heart. Hill. Hill. 
this is the hill. Hippo. Hippo. Horse. Horse. Again, we don't mention the letter R. Okay, so it is horse. Insects. Insects. All insects have six legs. That's why spiders are not insects, because they have eight legs, and all insects have six legs. Journey. Journey. What's the meaning of journey? Journey is viaje. And it comes from a word in French. Maybe you're familiar now that you have French lessons. It comes from jour. Yes. Which means day, for example. Bonjour. Yes. So, basically, in the past, they would say journey, referring to a travel of just one day. But nowadays, they say it for every type of trouble. King. King. Lake. Lake. Leg. Leg. Light. Light. This is a light, okay? Light. Light. So what is the meaning of light in this context? It means ligero. That's quite light food. It's like diet food. It's comida ligera. Midday. Midday. Midday, it's exactly 12 o'clock, when the sun is in the middle of the sky. Midday. Minute. Minute. We don't mention this letter. Minute. Moon. Moon. Mountain, mountain, pay attention, we don't pronounce the I and this sounds like this, mountain, okay, again, let's say it, mountain, remember that each time we have this thing, sounds ow, mm -hmm. other examples of these are these words, for example, out. You don't say out, you say out. It's mountain, out. The past of find. It's found, found, yes. And we have another word that sounds a little bit similar to this one. That is fountain, okay? So the sound of this word is mountain, mountain, neck, neck, nest, nest. The nest is the house of the birds, night. Night. When we say night, we don't mention these two letters. Night. Peace. Peace. If we were talking only about one, it would be P. Mm -hmm. But plural, peace. Now pay attention to the ending. I even put it in red and I cannot stress it enough. It only has an O. And that's it. Repeat. Potato. P 
potato. Dot is the American pronunciation. Now it comes to British. Potato. Potato. Both pronunciations are correct. Now, in the plural, this thing is added, but not in the singular. It's only for plural. Repeat, potatoes. Potatoes. Plural. In British, potatoes. Potatoes. Radio. Radio. River. River. Snake. Snake. Pay attention, we start like this animal. S snake. Now we have a pattern. What is a pattern? Un patrón de tela. The pattern of this piece of fabric is spotted. I am reading this one. Spotted. Spotted. That means de bolitas. And only one is called spot. Spot. Swan. Swan. Tail. Tail. Tiger. Tiger. We don't pronounce the R. Tiger. Top. Top. What's the meaning of top? La parte de hasta arriba. La cima. Top. This man is at the top of a mountain. A very tall one, by the way. Top. Tortoise. Tortoise. What is a tortoise? A tortoise is like a turtle, but it has legs, not fins. Weak. Weak. Wing. Wing. Winth. Winth. Okay? This is the wind. It's blowing, yes? And these are eolic fans for making energy with the wind. Okay? Winth. Wolf. Wolf. Pay attention, it sounds like a dog, like woof, woof. Yes, like that. Woof. The plural, it's different. We have to add V E S. Wolves. Wolves. Woman. Woman. The plural of woman is women. Again, pay attention to the pronunciation. These changes. We men. Again, women. Women. This one is. Oh, sorry, that was not the one that I wanted to use. This one. Asleep. It's only one word. Asleep. This woman is asleep. What is asleep? Dormida. Asleep. Colorful. Colorful. That means full of color. Colorful. Difficult. Difficult. This woman is doing something very difficult. Green. Green. Happy. Happy. High. High. Pay attention, we don't pronounce these two. It's like saying hello, like saying hi. Yes, well, high. What's the meaning of high? Alto. The airplane is flying high in the sky. High. Impatient. Impatient. 
impatient is a person who is not very good at waiting. Impatient. Important. Important. This piece of information is important. In our list, we only have this word, more, but we have to compare it with its opposite, less. There are less owls. Here we have more owls. Listen also to the name of this animal, owl. Pink. Pink. Purple. Purple. Pay attention to the pronunciation of these two letters. Purple. Again, purple. Red. Red. Sandy. Sandy. Sandy is not the same as sand. Sand is arena. But sandy is an adjective. That means arenoso. Sometimes it's also a synonym of rasposo. Straight. Straight. Go straight is vete todo derecho. Straight is recto o derecho. Straight. Straight. We don't mention these two. Straight. Striped. Striped. The t-shirt is striped. What is striped? That it has lines. Okay, can you see that? Striped. So one of these things is the stripe. Yes, a striped and the t-shirt is striped. Strong. Strong. Sweet. Sweet. The cake. Now pay attention to this building. We're going to pay attention to this floor over here. That is the third story or the third floor. Third. Third. Remember, you have to take your tongue out from your mouth. Third. White. White. Of course, the letters are not white. They are black, but this color is white. White. Yellow. Yellow. Again, listen, please listen. Yellow. Can you listen to the pronunciation of this letter? Yellow. I don't say yellow. No, it's yellow. Now we're going to work with the verbs. Appear. Appear. Magicians often make rabbits appear out of huts. Appear. It's a regular verb, so the past is appeared. Now, begin. Begin is a synonym of start. It has different conjugations. Begin, past, began, past participle, begun. The present participle takes a double N. Beginning. Another verb. Build. Build. Past and past participle. Built. Built. Now, let's pay attention to this verb. This family is planning vacations. So they have many options. They have to choose, okay? The present is choose. Pay attention, choose, like book. 
or like boo, uh -huh. choose. When we only have one O, it's in the past. The past is chose. Chose. Past participle. Chosen. Chosen. Choose, chose, chosen. Follow. Follow. The little ducklings are following. They follow their mom. Grow in present. Pay attention. Grow. Grew. Grown. Pay attention to this pronunciation. Is grew like mi villano favorito? Grew. Uh huh. Grow past. Grew past participle. Grown. Grow. Now this verb, it's height. Height. The past is hith. Hith. And the past participle, it's this one. Hidden. Hidden. I repeat. Height. Hith. Hidden. The kitty, heath, under the hat. Hide, heath, hidden. Lie. Lie is when you don't tell the truth. Lie. The past is lieth. And the present participle is lying. Lie. So there are two words that are lie and they are verbs but they have different meanings this man is lying down so what's the meaning of lie in this context recostarse the present is lie past lay past participle lane present participle lying Writhe, past, wrath, past participle, rhythm, present participle, riding. Pay attention. Writhe, riding, rhythm, writhe, riding, rhythm. This one sounds different. This one sounds re, but this and this sound I, ride, riding, rhythm. Sing, sing, past, sang, past participle, sung. Slip, slip, past and past participle, slept, slept. Touch, it's regular, so the past is touched. An important thing is that when we add the S, it is touches, touches. Again, touch, touch. Travel, travel. In British English, the past and the past participle take a double L. And in American English, it takes only one L. So both of them are correct. Yes? So let's repeat. Travel, travel. Past and past participle Traveled, traveled, and it's via hash. Turn, turn. I don't mention this one. Turn, okay, turn, turn is girar. Wait, 
wait. The past is regular. It's waited. Waited. Wake. Woke. Woken. Most of the times we say it with up. Wake up. Woke up. Woken up. There are some phrases which are a little bit difficult to illustrate. Those are the adverbs, the prepositions and the expressions. So I'm just going to help you by translating them, okay? Enough. Enough. I'm saying this one. Enough. Enough has two meanings. Suficiente and suficientemente. For example, there is enough food. Hay suficiente comida. This room isn't big enough. Este cuarto no es lo suficientemente grande. Kindly. Kindly. Amablemente. Later. Later. Después. Across. Across. We saw it in the prepositions doc video. Uh -huh. Across is a synonym of in front of. But when there is something in the middle, dividing it. For example, the Livingston is across el globo. You have to cross the street. That's why it's across. El globo is across the Livingston. After. After. Después. Ago. Ago. An example phrase would be Millions of years ago, there used to be dinosaurs. So, millions of years ago means ago, hace. Hace. Millions of years ago, hace millones de años. As. As. Como. You are as impressive as your family. Tan and como. Inside. Inside. It's a synonym of in, but it is used when something can be closed. For example, a box. The shoes are inside the box. Yes. Onto. Onto. Onto means that you're going in a direction. So, for example, you can crash onto the wall. Towards. Towards. All of these, we also saw them with the prepositions doc video. If you need to see it again, remember you can watch it again just to refresh the prepositions of movement. Towards. Asia. Asia. Up. Arriba. Do you remember the talk? Going up the stairs. Upstairs. Now we have some expressions. Be quick then. Pues apúrate. O apúrate entonces. Okay, I can wait. That would be, de acuerdo, puedo esperar. Well, please hurry. Bueno, por favor apúrate. Wow, well, that's easy, isn't it? Well, last but not least, remember that today we have a video session and in that video session we are going to review some exercises that I made with these words. Remember, all of the exercises are solved with the vocabulary of story 4 of the story fun. See you in a few minutes. Bye!